Hello and welcome to Magi David's Lab Assembly Language Basics. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at four commands add wf, add lw, subtract wf, and subtract lw. At some point, every assembly language programmer is faced with the horror of having to do math. Of, oh, okay, well, it's, it's not that bad. Adding and subtracting an assembly is a piece of cake. It's not that hard, really. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is. We'll start off with an 8-bit number and then we'll work our way up to 16-bit. The first thing we'll cover is the status register, and it's important to understand the status register. If you don't understand and ignore the status register, it gets very lonely and feels unloved, and we just can't have that. There are three bits in the status register that we're concerned with. The carry flag, the digit carry flag, and the zero flag. Every subtraction and addition operation will affect these flags. And by checking these flags, we can learn a lot about the mathematical operation that was just done. So let's see some examples. First, we need to create a few labels for the register we'll be using in this video. Let's call one Stinky and the other Rat. Hmm, Stinky Rat. Well, hey, I grabbed them off the top of my head. What can I say? Oh, and let's not forget about working, the working register. Okay. So let's move the value 0x01 into Stinky with the code move LW 0x01 and move WF Stinky and then add the value 0x0f with the following code. Stinky W. Now we can throw a little comment over here. Comments are very, very nice. This addition will equal 0x10, with the result being stored back into working. And the C flag equals 0 because no byte carry occurred. The Z flag equals 0 because the result of the addition does not equal 0. And lastly, the DC flag equals 1 because a carry from the low order 4 bits to the upper 4 bits did occur. With the addition complete, we can now test the flags in the status register to determine exactly what happened and then process code based on the state of those flags. To see this in action, let's add 0x01 to 0xff. So the code would be, these com two commands will remain the same and we just need to change that to FF. And we want to store the result back in F. The status register flags would have the following values after this addition takes place. Z equals one because the result of the additions equals zero. Stinky is zero. DC equals one because a digit carry did occur. And C equals one because a carry did occur. Now, let's assume we are working with a 16-bit number. Stinky is the lower 8 bits, and Rat is the upper 8 bits. If we check the C flag, we can determine if a carry happened or not by using a conditional jump command. Bit test F skip if clear. Status C. If the carry flag is set, then a carry did occur, and we want to add 1 to the register Rat with the command Pink F, rat, comma F. If the carry flag is clear, then we skip the next command and start executing the command after the one we skip, which in this case is this no op command down here. Now the command following the bit test F skip of clear can be anything you like as long as it does what you want it to do. Okay, so the add LW command works exactly the same, but now we are adding a literal value to W. The literal value can be a number or a label that represents a number, but it can't be a register. That's what the addWF command is for. 
Now, sub WF works the same way as add WF, except the C and DC flags have different meanings. The C flag equals zero when a borrow did occur, and a one when a borrow did not occur. The same holds true for the DC flag as well. So, for example, if Worky had the value 0x01 and Stinky had the value 0x10, and we subtract Worky from Stinky, we would end up with 0x0f in Worky. The DC flag would be clear to indicate a borrow occurred from the high 4 bits and the carry flag would be set to indicate a digit borrow did not occur. Also, we'll be taking a closer look at using the subtract wf command to build a command tree in an upcoming episode. Okay, that's it for this assembly language basics video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Take care and thanks for watching. Also, be sure to rate, comment and subscribe.